What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be creating a traditional style roof. Now I'm a little bit hesitant to uh, mention which traditional style this is, uh, because uh, just looking through the images I found different information. It might be Hawaiian style, Pole style, Tiki style, I'm not really sure which one it is, and if you know it please tell me in the comment section below the video, so just tell me uh, how would you call this traditional style uh, roof, what name you, you would uh, give it. But anyways, it's a really interesting structure, it's a very interesting shape, so I thought, well, why not try to model that in Revit and turn that into a little tutorial. Uh, now, uh, if you're interested in learning a bit more about uh, creating Revit roofs, perhaps how to create compound complex roofs in Revit, uh, while I have a complete Revit Roofs Masterclass, it's available on my website, balkanarctic.com, and that's going to be the first link just below the video. I have many different courses for many different Revit topics, ranging from beginner to intermediate as well as advanced level topics. Also, if you would like to get access to all of my Revit project files, those are available on my Patreon page, and that's going to be the second link just below uh, the video in the description. Uh, and also make sure to subscribe, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. And here we are in Revit. Uh, now let's get started immediately by going to models and then going to new. Uh, and for the template file, I'm going to choose my own custom Balkan Architect template, the metric version. And if you're interested in my templates, uh, either metric or imperial, you can find both on my website, balkanarchitect.com. That's going to be the third link in the description. So let us now just click OK, and then that's going to start Revit right up. So let's just give it a few seconds. And as soon as it starts up, uh, we're going to be creating first the uh, building itself. So uh, first, I just like to go here to walls, uh, WA is the shortcut, and then use a simple rectangle here. And uh, perhaps let's attach this. So go to top constraint here in the properties. And instead of unconnected, let's attach it to level two. There we go. And then let's create a building. So something like this, I think, should do the job. There we go. Perfect. So once we have something that looks like this, so we have the four walls, uh, it's time to add that complex roof. Now for this roof, unfortunately, the Revit's roof tools are simply not going to be enough. So for this, we need something a bit more powerful. And for that, uh, as I said, we're going to be using the massing environment. So let's go here to massing and site. First, make sure to turn on show mass. We want to be able to see what we're creating. And then finally, let's go here to in place mass. Now this is going to start up a new mass. Uh, you can name it here for easy reference. So perhaps let's call this one a roof. Click OK. There we go. So once we're here in the massing environment, uh, everything that's in your model is going to be grayed out like these walls here. And then as you can see here on the create tab, we have a new set of tools. Now for this, uh, first, uh, we have to add uh, some sort of framework on which we're going to be modeling our roof. Now that does sound complicated, but don't worry about it, it's not that. So it's not that complicated, it can be fairly simple. Uh, so first, uh, here I like to set that framework and we need to do that in elevation view. Here I want to look at the building from this side, this is on the east, so let's go here to elevations, go to east elevation, there we go, this is what we have. Uh, now here, uh, first I like to find the center of this building, and now that might be a bit trickier than you might think, so if I go here to perhaps the, the line tool uh, or, or something like that or the reference plane tool and then try to find the center. As you can see, this is the midpoint, but also we have this midpoint. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky to find the actual center. If I go here, as you can see, the line that highlights goes and it has kind of a little offset on each side. Here, the offset is only on the uh, on the left side. So just make sure to go here where the offset is equal on all sides. So that's the midpoint. And then we can go down like this and extend it up like that. There we go. So this is going to be the uh, kind of the, the center line 
for our building, the center of framework. Uh, next, uh, we want to name this. So here, as you can see, we have this ability to click to create a name. So that I'm going to name number two. Now that might not make sense at first, but don't worry about it. It actually will in a couple of, uh, in a minute or so. So now let's go and let's create the second one. So the second one should be slanted as that kind of first edge of the wall. So if I open up the image here, just give me a second. There we go. So as you can see, this part here in the front is slanted. So we actually want to follow that. So what I'm going to do is go here to reference plane. RP is the shortcut. Again, use the line tool. And then you want to start off here from the edge somewhere and then go off at an angle. We can go at a 130 degree angle just like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's extend it down. Uh, of course, we should name this and let's go here to, so you just select it and then go, you go here to click to name. Also, you can enter the name here in the properties under name and this one is going to be number one. So there you go, one, two, and then finally we need three on this side and we don't have to model that. We can just select this one and then uh, go to mirror. So here on the modify tab, we have the mirror with pick access. Select that center line, there we go, and just rename this one, so select it go to name and this one is going to be number three. Perfect. So one, two, three. Uh, also, I want one horizontal just to basically show us where kind of the roof is going to stop, kind of that overhang of the roof. So we can go here to the reference uh, reference plane and then just have that a little bit below the top of that roof. I think this will be more than enough. And that one we actually don't have to name, which is really useful. Okay, let's go back into level one. Now we want to look at this head on. So for that, we need to open up the south elevation, just like this. We can see that horizontal line, but not the ones that are kind of perpendicular to us. And then also here, we need to set up the center line. Uh, now again, that can be a little bit tricky. So what I like to do is go here to the line tool, and then let's specify that vertical plane. So that's going to be a reference plane number two. Okay, and then go from here to here just like that. As you can see now, it goes from edge to edge. And then when you go here to reference plane, you can actually highlight that line and then go up. There we go. And then you found the center of this. And you can finally select that line and just hit delete because we don't really need it. Uh, finally, uh, let's now create our roof. So the roof is going to be created out of three profiles, which we're going to be connected, uh, connecting into a roof. So uh, let's go here to the line tool. So just the model lines. Uh, really important, you want to set this to draw on work plane, and then you want to specify the placement plane here and specify it as number two for start. Next, let's come in here, find the place for example, something like this. Now we can go at a 45 degree angle, but actually I'm just going to go at 50 just to make this one look a bit more interesting like that. And then you want to kind of pull it out a little bit until it kind of clears the edge of that wall, just like this. And then we can go all the way up. Next, let's uh, flip it to the other side by using the mirror tool. So you just want to go here to the modify mirror with pick access, MM is the shortcut, and you mirror it like that. So now this is set at work plane number two. Now we want to repeat that process. And well, before we do that, perhaps let's just drag these edges to go up to that reference plane there. Perfect. Next, you want to go again to model lines, again to draw on work plane, but in this case, we're going to flip this to reference plane number one. Uh, now, uh, you want to make sure that 3D snapping is turned off because that can mess things up. And then you just come in here to the edge of that line. It's not going to snap, so you have to just click there, just like that. And then you go up. But instead of going up to this point, we're just going to go way up here, for example. Let's go up to here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now you select it, you go to mirror, and then you mirror it to the other side. Perfect. So this one is reference plane number one. And then finally, uh, we have to do the, the third reference plane. So you go to model lines, drawn work plane, reference plane number three, 3D snapping turned off. Once we have all of that set up, again, you go to the same point, you click, and then you go to the same point here and you click. Next, you want to select just that line. Now it might be tricky because this is in, in front. So let's use the tab key a couple of times. 
Now, once you select it, it should say reference plane number three. If you hit the tab key once, it's going to say reference plane number one. So that's the one that's closer to us. So you just want to hit the tab key twice, reference plane number three, perfect, mirror, pick this as access, and there we go. Now, if I go to the 3D view, we have something that looks like this. Now, it's as simple as selecting all three, go to create form, and there we go. We have that really cool roof shape. Uh, now, of course, we're not done yet. We have to hit finish. Now, this is still just a mass. This isn't roof, uh, Revit geometry. This isn't roof geometry. So let's go here to mask inside and there we have the roof by face tool. You want to select this and then for the roof instead of having this 400 millimeter one let's switch to 125 millimeter one. You select one side the other and then you go to create roof. And there we go, looks perfect. Now you might get these kind of water stains. Uh, now that's because the roof is overlapping with the mass on which it's hosted. So if you just turn off the visibility for massing, so just show mass and turn that off, now we can only see the roof and you know, those watermarks are, turn are turned off. Next, let's hover over one of the walls, hit the tab key just once, and then that allows you to highlight and select all walls. Go to attach top base, select that roof, and there we go. We have created this really cool traditional uh, traditional style roof in Revit. And I don't think it was that difficult at all. It does take a little bit more work, but I think that the result is quite cool. So there you go. That's how you can create these types of roof structures in Revit. Uh, so that's going to conclude this tutorial. If you want the complete roofs masterclass, as I said, the link will be included in the description of this video. You can get it as just one course, or you can get a subscription to my website, giving you access to all of my Revit courses from beginner level up to advanced level. So make sure to check that out. Also, if you would like my project files, like this file that we have over here, as well as the rest of my Revit project files, all of those are available on my Patreon page, which is going to be the second link in the description. So make sure to check that out. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Comment down below if you like the video, if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, and so on. And I'll be back with another tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.